Hello, in today's video, we're going to talk about this Bamboo Lab A1 enclosure. I'm going to talk about how it will benefit you and your 3D printer. I would also like to say a big thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and also to UPI for sending me this enclosure. As some of you know, when 3D printing, the heated plastic will release some fumes. Now, there are different material that will be more toxic to you than others. For example, ABS is more toxic than PLA. PLA is known to be a safer material to work with as it's made out of cornstarch and sugarcane. ABS, on the other hand, has a compound called styrene, which is known to give you dizziness, headaches, and fatigue. Uh, also, it can irritate your lungs, and it's also a potential carcinogen. So when working with ABS, you're highly advised to vent it out. But what this enclosure will do for you, it will allow you to contain those fumes and it does have an exhaust port so that you can actually vent the fumes outside. So this enclosure is quite useful as it keeps the noise level down, it keeps the fumes within the enclosure, uh, keeps the dust and debris away, it keeps the temperature from fluctuating as much. This is a great addition to your workshop. I'm going to now play a recording of me setting this unit up. So I'm going to walk you uh, through the installation. It is definitely a great addition to your workshop. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing this enclosure, you can find the link in the description. Now, for this part of the video, I will guide you step by step on how to assemble this enclosure. But before that, I'd like to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, PCBWay, and show you what kind of services they have to offer. You can go to PCBWay.com, click CNC slash 3D printing, then click 3D printing service. You will see a list of different material and all their properties. Then what you can do is upload your STL file and request a quote from PCBWay. After you get your quote, you can place an order for your design to be printed with the material of your choice. Link to PCBWay is in the description. All right, let's begin the assembly of 3D printer enclosure for Bamboo Lab A1. All right, let's begin by opening up the box. Inside, you're going to find enclosure cover with instructions. Uh, our first step is to assemble the x-axis rails. Uh, what you have to do is couple them together. This is how the coupling looks like. You'll take one end of the x-axis rail, couple it together, and you'll have to do this four more times. Same goes for the Y-axis rail. You'll do exactly the same thing. You'll take one end of the Y rail and couple it together. You're going to take these corner brackets and make a perimeter as shown in the video. The Y and X-axis rails will be adjacent to each other. Now you're going to do the same thing for the Z-axis rail. You'll couple them together. You'll install each Z-axis rail in the upright position in each corner. And then you'll complete the top the same way you did the bottom. And that will complete your skeleton for your enclosure. For this part, you'll have to grab the cover, uh, unfold it and unzip it all the way so that you can lay it on the floor. You will then need to put the skeleton on top of the cover. You'll then have to pull the cover over the skeleton and secure each corner. Then zip everything back up. And we're partially done. You then have the option of installing LED lighting. I would highly suggest to do so as it's going to be pretty dark uh, inside the cover if you're not going to have any lighting whatsoever. They give you these mounting clips that just pressure fit. Then they also give you this thermo hygrometer um, and some gloves for whatever reason. I found no use for those gloves. The thermo hygrometer just pushed into the rubber socket that is in the top right position of the cover. These two rubber grommets is where you're going to push your power core through and connect to your printer later in the video. 
This enclosure cover also features a pouch where you can store some of your tools. If you haven't done so, you'll have to clean up the workspace where you're going to be installing this enclosure. I had to take my whole printer out and the AMS. The first thing I did with this enclosure is set up the LED lighting. Uh, I had to secure the power cord coming from the LED light um, as it was a little bit too long so I didn't want it to interfere with the printer. Uh, I used some zip ties and what I did was I ran the power cord along the Y axis. I just used some zip ties to secure it. I really like the liner inside the enclosure as it helps to reflect the light and also helps retain the heat. I'm now pushing the power cord supply inside the enclosure through one of the rubber grommets on the back. On the right side of the enclosure you're going to find some holes that are dedicated for the PTFE tubes. Now you can bring your printer back inside the enclosure and connect those PTFE tubes into your AMS hub. Move your extruder head to make sure that it's moving properly and the PTFE tubes are not catching onto anything. I highly suggest printing a poo bucket to keep the enclosure clean. As mentioned previously in the video, I do not currently have a exhaust system set up, but I would highly suggest to do so because you do want to take those fumes in the enclosure and vent them outside. Uh, so yeah, this completes the installation and this is how the enclosure will look like when it's fully assembled. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of the product and if you're interested in purchasing this for yourself, uh, the link is in the description. Let me know down in the comments if this is something you consider buying. Let me know what you think of the product. Alrighty, this concludes today's video and I'll see you in the next one.